We process about 2,600 cases a year in this laboratory, all of them post-mortem cases. Uh, some of them are very clearly drug-related deaths. Others are natural deaths that, that may involve drugs, uh, but we're not sure until we complete the analysis. We're looking for at least three or 400 different drugs, not just illicit drugs, but uh, prescription drugs and, uh, and over-the-counter drugs as well, things as simple as uh, acetaminophen or uh, aspirin. The concentration range is enormous. Some of these drugs like uh, fentanyl and carfentanil, you're looking for amounts of drugs that you, you can't see, literally. Uh, the, the amounts are so small that you literally can't weigh the drug. They're, they're minute quantities. And of course, once that drug gets diluted out in the body, it gets diluted out into the blood and the tissues, then it becomes even more challenging uh, to find that drug and find out which drug has poten potentially caused the death. The illicit drugs in particular, we don't know what they've taken usually. Uh, if it's a green tablet, it could contain fentanyl or it could contain carfentanil or a, a different drug entirely. And so we have a broad spectrum of drugs that we look for, and then we, we go from there. Um, by the time that screening process is finished, uh, we're looking for, as I said, for about three or 400 different drugs. But if it's clearly a drug-related death, and we can't find any of the normal drugs we look for, then we have to refine our assays, essentially, to, uh, to look a little bit further as to what might be in that person.